Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with another layout. This is going back way, way back. I did this layout the 1st of November and um, it was just, the video was just on my computer and um, just never uploaded it. So I'm getting kind of low on videos to upload. So I found this, so I thought I would, uh, you know, do the voiceover and upload it. Now I'm using some pink and silver gelatos and they were part of the October uh, hip kit club, but the pattern papers and everything else is just from my stash. And then I took a Lindy stamp gang and I just sprayed it on my stamping block. And that's the biggest stamping block that I have. It's from Stampin' Up. And I just added some water and then I just um, spread it over the layout. And then once that is done, I didn't kind of show products or anything. I just kind of got into the layout. I think the way I did this is I kind of worked on the background. And then once that was done, I um, went and pulled in some, some products. Now I'm using some light paste and some silver gelato and I'm mixing it and then I'm going to take out a template and use that and this is all these papers are from from Scraptastic um, they had oh super saver last day of the month or something like that and um, so this was some of the packages that they had for sale it was from Glitz and there was some 12 by 12 pattern papers and there was some six by six and some um, tape. And so I pulled that out. This is my favorite things template and it's just a bunch of circles. I think it's my favorite things or maybe it's Simon Says Stamps. I showed the packaging there at the beginning um, just before I opened it. And, um, and it's just some funky circles and I really like that. And now I'm going to clean it off because if you don't clean it off right away, it is some difficult to clean off after. So it's worth taking the few seconds that it takes and I just clean it off. And what I do is, um, I usually buy my baby wipes at Costco and I just buy it in, I don't know, there's like almost a thousand baby wipes and there's like nine packages of a hundred or something like that and um, I usually keep a couple for me and then send the rest home with uh, with my daughter for my grandson and that way I always get a couple of baby wipes and she gets the rest and it might cost me a couple dollars more to get the big package but that way I get nine packages and because at the let's say at the a drugstore they're almost you know if you don't get them on special they're like or on sale they'll be um like five dollars a package and i think sometimes at costco i can get the big packages for like 17 dollars. so to me that's worth it so like i said there was some six by six pattern papers there was some sticker sheets so i just kind of pulled all that off and that's when um I was trying to use up some packages like this was done like the first day of November or something like that. So I was still trying to use up some of the packages because in October on my Facebook group, it was to try to use up 10 packages of embellishment and I didn't quite get them used all the way done by the end of October. So on the first um, day or two days of November, I was trying to finish them off and I, I did a pretty good job at finishing them off. So now I'm going to take another template and this one here, it's like chevron and I didn't color the paste this time. I'm just using it in the white. So I'm just adding quite a bit of texture to the background. Um, I added some silver, gel silver and pink gelato. I added the paste with the silver gelato. Now I'm adding some regular just white paste with um, a template and again I'm just going to quickly clean the template because what happens is 
If I say I'm going to wait till I'm done the video, by the time the video is done, it's it's already too um, too dried up and it's really difficult to to clean. So you can tell that's when I was using my close to my heart um, mat, and now I have my Heidi Swap one. So this was done a long time ago. Just kind of forgot about it. And I was still using my Stampin' Up! heat gun to dry things up. And now I have my Ranger gun. So today is uh, December 18th and my husband went to the mailbox and I still don't have my hip kit. But um, not that I have a ton of time anyway. My grandson is still here and oof, <laughs> I am pooped. Um, I'm just, you know, getting stuff done that I can get with him around, like, you know, the dishes and laundry and, and that kind of stuff, but, um, and getting supper done, but scrapbooking, I haven't been able to get much done. Last night I did man, well, I did manage to get a layout done. Last night was the finale of Survivor, which I, I totally forgot. So anyway, we watched that. So by the time it was done which really the last hour all I watched was who won it and um, and then I went upstairs and worked on a layout and got it done because um, otherwise I wouldn't have anything to upload. Now I did, the, I did finish the first five days of the December daily but I still have to do the voiceover so I'm hoping uh, tonight we're building a gingerbread house right after supper um, it's five o'clock here and uh, so everything's cooking. I just thought I would come up. My husband's home so I thought I would come upstairs and just get the voiceover done so that I could hopefully upload this to YouTube tonight. And um, so we're going to get the gingerbread house done and quite early and then he can have a bath and once he's in bed I'm going to do the voiceover for day first to day five. So it probably won't be uploaded today, but tomorrow. And then tonight, hopefully I can get a few more pages done. Maybe day six and seven or something like that. Today, when he went to bed for a nap, I had to go for a nap too because I didn't sleep well last night. So I was exhausted. So hopefully tonight I can get some stuff done and tomorrow afternoon I can get more done or tomorrow morning when he has a nap. So these, I had, when I did this page, I had just bought these Unity stamps, not too long before that. So I took a few out. I took two or three out and I'm going to use them on this layout. So I'm going to uh, take out my favorite things, the gray ink that we got in the October kit. And one of them looks like a ray of sunshine. It has a little heart in the middle. And I'm going to stamp it on some cardstock and then I'm going to cut around it. And then there was a couple or a camera that I'm going to cut out or stamp out a couple times. And then I'm going to cut around that too. And it just, it's so cute. Um, and I'm trying to, to do a little bit more stamping. Um, you know, obviously it is a little bit more effort because you have to find, you know, paper and ink and but it's so worth it, you know, to get uh, some embellishments um, done. And another thing too is this month, I for the month of November, the challenge is to use some washi tape. So I still haven't done a layout um, using washi tape. So I got to get that done too. Not November. We're in December. Oof. For December, <laughs> the... Um, challenge is to use washi tape. So I got to get some washi tape layouts done too. So <clears throat> I'll be working on that um, hopefully in the next couple of days. I go back to work on Sunday and then, you know, then it's Christmas. I work Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then it's Christmas. It's Christmas Eve. So, um, <clears throat> but I still have five layouts that I need to create before December 31st to meet my goal which is not bad. I mean, in 12 days to get uh, five layouts done should be no problem to get done. Um, 
So I'll have completed my goal and the next thing that I want to do also is I'm working on my list for goals for next year for 2015. So I'm going to write it down on paper first and then I'm going to do a layout kind of outlining all my goals. So I'm hoping to have that uploaded for you know January 1st or 2nd. I, I'm actually working January 1st so but if I can get it done beforehand and just have it ready to upload so that's my that's my goal right now is to have that ready for January 1st so right off the bat I am going to know what my goals are for 2015 and start working on it right away. So I just went through my Prima inks and those are all free Prima inks that we got through Scraptastic kits. Now, um, and then I'm going to take out some background stamps from Kaiser Arts and I'm just going to use that gray ink and I'm just going to add some more texture to the background. And while I'm doing that, I had someone ask, um, cause she knows that I was a member of Scraptastic and then I, you know, um, started the hip kit and she wanted to know why I decided on the hip kit and not Scraptastic. One of the main reasons for me is I like the versatility of the hip kit. Um, it's more than just papers and embellishments. You get mixed media stuff a lot of months too or inks or things like that and I love that because it gets you to push yourself even more or templates like one month we got um, my favorite things templates another month we got uh, the eyes inks the another month we got gelatos and this month we're uh, which I still haven't gotten my kit but it's um, uh, inks from Tim Holtz in oh what are they called they're in a dab in a dauber so we're getting those and so I love that I love getting and you know we're a little stamp and and I love that there's the pattern the uh, kit the main kit is all pattern papers and no cardstocks because I have tons of cardstocks in some months I can order the cardstock if I like and I like that they're the cardstock one is mostly all earthy colors like white gray craft and I like that and I like that there's an embellishment pack and then there's like a color add-on and that has like now it has stamps and inks and and that kind of stuff so I just like the versatility of that it's not just embellishments and and papers you know and I like that there's a lot of pa pattern papers there's eight pattern papers you know and um, where I'm trying to order less I just want it so that I would get more of that kind of stuff and you know one month we get texture paste love that you know just and if you're uh, whether you're a seasoned scrapbooker booker or a new one it just gets you to try different things and now I spread some um gesso on my mat and I'm just adding gesso to the edges just so that they kind of blend in with all that busyness that's in the background because I you know the background is quite busy I also I uh, took a big doily and it's inches and I cut it in half and that doily I bought from the dollar store and there was a hundred in the package so totally awesome now I went through my stash and got some um, enamel dots and I'm adding those to the page. Now I took a gray cardstock and I'm going to cut down that pattern paper. And then I'm going to add it to that gray cardstock. And it just sort of grounds uh, that whole layout because the background is pink chevron and then I added all this mixed media stuff so then it looked like it was kind of floating so by cutting down about a quarter of an inch on each side and then I mount it on that cardstock it just kind of 
grounds it says okay it starts and ends here and it just doesn't look floaty anymore and that picture was on a vacation that we went to in Quebec a few years ago I'd say about three years ago and it'll be three years this summer um I think so no it was two years this summer it'll be two years this summer it wasn't last summer it was the summer before and it was a fishing trip and we went for a week and it was with my brother and his wife and his kids and my mom and her husband and my daughter and my grandson and my son and the only one that couldn't make it was my middle daughter and it's because she was working so we missed her terribly and this was just a picture of the, of the lake it was um can't remember if it was early in the morning or late afternoon one or the other and so i just love the reflection on the water it was just so peaceful and the one of the stamps that i had stamped to, stamped out said captured moments and i just um that's the name of the layout captured moments and actually um with the letters from that came in the kit from glitz i'm going to spell out serenity in really i just love those tiny tiny letters love it and I'm just going around the layout and I'm just ripping it in spots and then I'm taking my quick dry adhesive and kind of gluing down those uh, flaps and if you hear scratching I kind of went in my room and closed the door and the cat doesn't like that so he's scratching at the door to come in he follows me everywhere and um, so I took out my India ink and added some big splatters and that's it. That's another page done. And if you enjoy this video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up just to let YouTube know. And here are some close-ups of all the different um, little clusters and the pages done. So thanks for watching. Bye.